<laughs> Hello John Neil here again for the next vlog. It's more lettering, well numbering I suppose. I'm going to do uh, numbers 1 to 0, no 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 9 then 0 uh, just to show you how I do them. I've done it before but it's worth doing again. I've got to put some house numbers on the front of my house and my neighbour next door. come out the back here if you uh, hear various birds going that's a green finch on the top of the house they never come down spend some time by the way feeding the birds in the garden and uh, so we get uh, there's a, a huge list of birds that we get it's terrific uh, so I thought I'd come out the back the lights good and it's not so noisy uh, for the traffic so today I'm going to do uh, one two zero for me and one two six for next door. Yes, next door is one two six. In Britain, we put all the even numbers one side of the road, all the odds the other. So, next door is one eighteen. I'm one twenty. Next door should be one twenty two, and then one twenty four, and then one two six. So, where are the other two gone? I think they were abducted by aliens in eighteen seventy three. No, they weren't. Um, no idea. It just so happens that uh, next door is 126 and we're 120. So, those are the numbers I've got to put up. Um, and uh, I'm going to use some acrylic paint. That's the ink out of the pens. And a three quarter inch brush. And just in one stroke of, um, the, um, of the brush. I was going to say, and I will, explain that the numbers that we use, the numerals, one two three four and so on um, and we only have the ten of them zero plus one to nine um, come from actually originally Sanskrit sort of Indian Hindi uh, origin then through to the Arabs and then from the Arabs on to us and it's not a Roman uh, lettering system or numbering system we have Roman letters that's true and we use those as the basis of our alphabet but the numerals are, we, that we use are Arabic or Indian. Totally different cultural style. Understandably, really, because the Romans, God bless them, um, had a very strange way of counting and using the uh, numbers. So one would be a one, two would be two, three would be three, and well, by the time you get to four, it's getting a bit cumbersome. Five, certainly too many, so five ended up as a V shape and then four was one before and six was one after I th they must have made this up you know after a bad night in the forum it's really quite crazy uh, how and, and then you end up with numbers like you see why do films use roman lettering systems on the end of them i can just about read it because you need to know that you know m is a thousand and c is a hundred and so on but um yeah it's a quaint and crazy system. The Arabs of course gave us a number of um, scientific and mathematical uh, principles and teachings which we still use today. You may not realize that the, 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 the word al means the in Arabic. I know no more, don't press me on this. So we have words like algebra and algorithm and alchemy and they all stem, these scientific and mathematical terms, stem from the, uh, at the Arab roots, the Muslim Arab roots. See, you learn something every day. Should we do uh, the lettering, the numbering? Yeah, okay, let's go. The numbers that we use tend to fit into uh, an oval shape, an egg shape, to be honest, like that. So, all right, the, the one does not, I know, but let me just look at two. So two goes like that. Again, the three fit in there. You might want to put a sharp top on the top of the three, but four, no, straight. Five, yes. Again, you've got this oval shape, and that's where the bottom would go this way. The whole point about this, let me just go back to this egg shape again. It's sort of 
bigger at the bottom there than it is at the top. So it looks like it's sitting nicely on the floor. So six certainly would fit in there. Seven does not. Eight certainly does. So eight, the top would be like an S, capital S. The top would be smaller than the bottom. So it sits that way around. And finally, nine fits in the oval shape. I say finally, of course, the oval shape is the zero. So I'm just going to push some ink, don't need a huge amount, out of one of the pens and use this, which is what? A three quarters of an inch brush. Do it in one stroke. So it's a good idea to have a practice on a piece of paper first, show you how it would work. Of course, all the time here, I'm holding the brush. You can see it's thin one way, thick the other, thin one way, thick the other. So that would go thin, that would go thick. And I hold it at that angle all the time. So I don't twist it around, just hold it so it goes like that. So it means that when you go that way, you produce that. And when you go this way, you produce a thick. And that's the key to all this work. Let's just do number one and two. One, one basically, is a line down. You might see a little kick on the top. And if you're going to put a serif on the bottom, you can do that. You can do it quite nicely with the brush. Two, again, it will follow that oval shape. Now, you can either bring it and do a sort of like that, or if you wanted to, you can bring it straight across the bottom. That's one and two dealt with. <clears throat> right, three, we'll certainly go in this oval shape, so the top will be the smaller top piece, and the bottom slightly larger. Can't brush, push the brush up, so you have to go here to come back down there. You might want just to put a little bit more on the top. Now, uh, you might also want to put a straight top on the three as another design issue, but the bottom, I think, ought to be the same. Four, I always do a four closed in like this. It's just straight lines, really. What you can do nicely, I'll do it smaller. Just pull that round, but that's another style, really. Five needs the bottom of the five following that oval shape, but the top slight angle cross and then round here. Again, in one angle, one mo motion, and two. Five, six, very much within the whole oval shape. Seven is just straight. I always think this is sort of a curve here, that way. Over done it now. That's probably it. Five, six, seven. Ah, eight is definitely going to be within that oval. Can be a complicated um, number to write. So let's just do that much and then just balance this out nicely this way. That does it. You see, it's not a an easy join from this part to this part. But that's your eight done. Nine, upside down six really, isn't it? Down there, that's the top, and then the four oval side there. That looks nice. You might want to also do another piece there. Then of course you finally just got the zero. Which you notice is thinnest there and there. Not, not, I haven't held the pen, the brush, sorry, <laughs> upright to do this. I've done it from the side this way. So that these are the thinnest points. If you look at number 10 Downing Street, the lettering there, the 10, is like that, like that like that and the thinnest parts are there it looks like it's tipped over and that's because it takes on this brush style the first one i'm going to do is one two six which is my neighbor next door and it's going to be in black 
on white. I marked out the same distance that is on the board. The holes, by the way, it's an old board. Doesn't matter. Uh, right, so one, two, six. That could just come a little lower. Right, here's the real thing. See if I can go over those holes with the black. More or less. One, two, six. That one just needs to come a little bit further down. Okay. I touched this up a little bit. I straightened the one up and took the top of the two down a little bit as well. Right, let's pop 120 up here. That's high enough. I've not marked out the bottom and top. I'll be alright about that. Same brush, three quarter inch. 120. Da -da, as they say. Well, when I repainted this, I painted out the part that says CCTV, which I do have. So the car's here, it's lit at night, and if I put CCTV, see, the criminals, they can be a bit stupid, so if they don't see the camera, at least they'll see this. So I'm going to put just CCTV. That's if they can read. I hope they can. Right, let's put this. CCTV. Lower. A little bit lower. I think that'll do. It's broken up a little bit there. Ah oh dear. Oh, careful. <laughs> the sun's trying to come out. Well, I oh, it is brightening up a bit. It said it would. Very nice. I didn't uh, name check. It's uh, March late March. This uh, coming weekend is the spring equinox by the way um, and uh, yeah it's about nine ten degrees today. Right did you enjoy that? I did. Yeah it worked well I was pleased. I love using the matte brush. I could spend hours going over pages and pages just playing about with that beautiful brush and the, the black ink. It's uh, super. You need a good brush I have to say. If it starts to get um, damaged you best get a new brush to be honest um, but they are nice just a nice wide flat brush uh, lettering brush yeah very good anyway that was good fun uh, do uh, pass comments below if you'd like and um, I will certainly see you in the next video or will you see me so I've got a blackbird behind me or behind you just down here and she's going after the bread I bet I couldn't stand up and turn the camera on to show